Hi, I'm Jose Anunciato, and you're watching the Web Dev Channel. Uh, all right, so so let's see. Uh, now that we have a a, a data rep um, we have a data representation for the for the modules. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's see if we can actually hit a particular a couple of modules here. Notice that we have a I have a course here that has many modules, and the modules have these IDs 52, 42, right? Uh, so let's see if we can retrieve a particular one. And it should be so. This would be forty-two. So 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 sorry. So this would be the course would be two. Two, uh, and I want the modules. I want the modules or module. Right. Notice that this returns just the modules right, for uh, for the uh, for that particular course. Um, right. So given given the course ID, which we do have, right. Uh, I want to retrieve the modules for that particular course. Right, so we have it as an array. And this looks very, very similar to the array we, ha we had for courses, right? So we were kind of back to where we were uh, a few minutes ago. Uh, so let's, let's, uh, let's uh, start by creating um, a module list, which I believe we had already started. Let's take a look. Uh, let's see, module, this module list. Uh, but we have two. Why do we have two? Uh, all right, let's... Uh, Extend. I don't know. Okay, let's use let's use uh, this one. Uh, right now we have a course editor using what? What is course editor rendering? Course editor is just rendering module list. All right, so let's go in there. Uh, so right now uh, we okay we were playing around with dynamically rendering uh, with a with an array that came uh, static here, right? Instead we want to make it from the server, right? So we already have module list. Uh, so we have module list. Well, we already, we already have, did that. Uh, we already did that. So module list, we're passing the course ID. Okay, so we need to pass uh, the course ID to the module. I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, the course ID to the module list. So let's do that. Let's pass in the course ID. So here's the module list being used in the course editor. Let's add course ID and we pass the course ID. You see that? So that the module list will know what to what to load. Um, all right, so, so let's do that when we did that already. Oops. Uh, let's receive that as a um, as an incoming uh, data in the state. So let's bind the set course ID. So let's do that in the uh, in the course list. Uh, let's see. We are, so we need we'll need props here. Props. We'll need props here. Uh, and um, uh, we'll we'll add that. Uh, that's the state. Already oh, actually we already have a state. All right, so let's just add course ID there. Right, we only need course ID here. That's all we need. So we're going to remove that. Uh, we only just need this event handler, uh, set course ID, that which be, would be bound uh, down below. So here's set course ID. Uh, that takes in the course ID. Uh, and it's, we're going to call that uh, when the when the um, in there we're gonna we're gonna set the state uh, we're gonna set the course ID uh, in, into the state and we're gonna call it when the when the uh, module loads right when it mounts okay, when it mounts uh, do we have a mount here we don't do we no we don't okay uh, and uh, and let's see if the module module list uh, just to make sure that indeed is being rendered uh, let's um, let's put maybe an h3 here module lists and uh, for course and then this would be this dot state dot state dot uh, that course ID um, okay let's reload uh, uh, it's not loading. Why are you not loading? Uh, module list for course, yada, yada, yada. Uh, that state. Did I call it right? Course ID? It is course ID. Uh, component mount. Did I forget something here? Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe this? Set course ID. All right, there we go. Yeah. Uh, so, so, 
Uh, that other, that other uh, method is, uh, is useful uh, when, um, uh, once, you, once you navigate here, right, once you navigate here, uh, the React Tile like, um, uh, uh, will, uh, will, cache, will cache this, right? And it says, okay, for this URL pattern, this is what should, should be, right? So that if you navigate anywhere else and, and, the, and the ID changes, it will not re-render the DOM, right? Because it has it cached. Right? So, uh, but uh, that other uh, function is, is called when it detects that the actual the properties have changed. Right? You need to re-render, right? Otherwise, it would not necessarily render. Uh, so, so that uh, if I if I click on, on a different one, notice that it re-renders as, as one seventy two. Or, or 12, right? So, so this is in the course editor. This is down in the module list. So we're passing down, right, the course ID from way up in the course editor down to the to the module list, right? Because it's going to use a service to call and retrieve all the modules, right? Uh, so let's do that. Let's go and fetch and create a a, 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 a form that uh, allows me to create uh, new modules, all right? So let's do that. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like the video, and share it. Thanks.